These have been the voyages of the Space Shuttle Discovery. Her 30-year mission, to seek out new science, to build new outposts, to bring nations together on the final frontier, to boldly go and do what no spacecraft has done before. of Discovery, a tribute to the dedication, hard work, and pride of America's space shuttle team. He just wants to fly. Woman say, it's my turn. Step inside. Burn Many die In space and time Yeah, I'm just looking out the window here Going over the earth I'm thinking about how cool it is To be up here doing this But what's even more impressive to me About the whole uh, space flight business Is when you have a large team like we have Doing something incredibly complex and yet we, uh, we pull it off uh, successfully year after year, mission after mission. She just, she just, she just, she just wants to fly. One good thing is you, you can't drop your pencil. <laughs> He's obviously a physics major. <laughs> remember why we must fly. Faster, Alvin. <laughs> Come on, dude. No, no, no. Discovery. We won't surrender. Don't clip our wings. Okay, we're going to show kind of a flight through. This is uh, starting in the airlock. Start up there working to pull out the center line camera. We just, we just, we just, we just Commander Steve Lindsay, pilot Eric Bowe, two of the bravest men I know. We're legends in our own mind. Legends in their own mind. We just, we just want to fly. Hey Steve, uh, Tim, I just wanted to tell you guys you all had an awesome launch and we we're all very proud of you down here. Uh, great to hear your voice, Tim. I wish you were here because I'd send you on the hunt for the overlay that I'm missing. But uh, anyway, appreciate the good words. It was a great launch. Uh, can't tell you how much we wish you were here with us as well. Well, I'm sure you, you know that I feel the same way, but I definitely feel like I'm there in spirit. And uh, I'm especially looking forward to seeing Steve and Al go out the door and, and do great work. All right, Discovery, just goes to show you have a seven-person crew. They're just not all up there with you. Absolutely. In Houston, we have a tally hole on the ISS out the front windows. 
That thing is a lot bigger since the last time I was here. Discovery Station has you loud and clear on the big loop. What took you guys so long? My call, initiating RPM. Three, two, one, mark. Discovery is a really historic vehicle in a lot of ways. It took its name from a lot of ships of exploration over many centuries, and it comes with a pretty rich heritage, and it's really lived up to that. Uh, she just performed magnificently getting us up here, so I think we're all going to be kind of sad to, to see it go. And we're going to remember Discovery and all the shuttle fleet, I think, is the most uh, capable vehicles that have ever flown in space. Here we have B. Alvin Drew and Steve Bowen, uncharacteristically speechless. And our commander has given them all sorts of words of encouragement and uh, also told them if they do a bad job, he won't let them back in. Okay, hats open and stowed. Feeling good out there? Just standing and stretching, you're not going to wake up sometime. That coffee ought to be kicking in any time now. You see them up there with the camera? Excellent, you guys. Let's uh, speed finish up the whip extender task and then head back to the airlock and then we'll be ready for... And uh, to the whole team there, great work completing a textbook EVA. B. Alvin Drew, first EVA. What are you going to do now, Al? I'm going to have dinner <laughs> <laughs> like a quarter horse. How was it? That was awesome. Oh man, that was great. That views were outstanding. And what are you doing today? Well, today Mike and I are going to remove or move the uh, PMM, which is the big module that's currently in the uh, payload bay of Discovery, over to the station, and that will complete the assembly of the ISS. Ready? 
to ring the recess bell on you, but we only got about 15 minutes left before an extended LOS, and we have a Liz here for the transfer be- brief before hatches close. Well, they've been following instructions exceptionally well today as I boss them around. Scott, it was a pleasure to be up here. We appreciate your hospitality. We appreciate you putting up with us, knocking your stuff off the walls, and uh, generally trashing your station. And we're going to miss you guys. And so thanks. Thanks for everything. We're going to miss you. But uh, most of all, we're going to miss Discovery. We wish her uh, fair winds and following seas. Thank you. down the runway. We ran the uh, energy numbers uh, with the higher peak wind that we gave you earlier, which was the 18 peak 28, still getting you 2,200 feet down. So we'll call it the 2,100 at 195. Okay, copy that. You are flying. Thank you. Good job. Right. Bring it on, boys and girls. Roger that. I see one. Okay. I see two. Roger. I see them both. Good. Going into the clouds. We agree you are on and on, and we have good hut video. Very good. Six 
600, 500, 400, stairs down. Now you're 4230, 2220, 10, 10, 5, 205. Touch. Okay, shoot. Two. Okay, rotate. Okay, one, two, good race. There's a shoot. Yep. Those gears now. Yep. Grab well. speed enabled. All right, backing it up. You're coming to the center line. Now get the shoot on time. Okay. 99. Nice job, Steve. Yeah, that was beautiful. 75. Yeah. The winds are just the really. The shoot is coming now. Okay. Coming on the brakes. I felt the shoot. Yep. How about that? I have to. I'm easing off, I'm not hardly touching it. Okay. 20 knots. Nice job. That was great. Oh, I love this place of my breath and my bones. And I'll always call the asylum my home. But I know when the day comes, when my farewell. And Houston Discovery for the final time. We'll stop. Discovery Houston, uh, Pinto, great job by you and your crew. That was a great landing in tough conditions, and it was an awesome docked mission that you all had. You were able to take Discovery up to a full 365 days of actual time on orbit. I think that you'd call that a fleet leader and a leader of any manned vehicle for time in orbit. So, job well done. Dan, copy that. Of course, we're headed to 5-3, and uh, I'd like to thank you and your team and all the orbit team for a fantastic mission, as well as the Expedition 26 team on orbit. And I'd also like to thank KSC, who has given us a perfect vehicle from start to finish on her final flight.